Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I have some exciting news for you. Tomorrow, we're going to be starting a brand new series of Factorio uh, with a group of people, a group of friends, and it features a very, very, very cool mod pack, which I think you'll like. Hopefully keep you tied over until 0.17 arrives. I will be continuing the Whistle Stop series, but please check out our multiplayer series. It is so fun. We just recorded some last night and we had an absolute blast. So um, I'm really looking forward to you seeing that. Um, it does feature myself and Caladorn, of course, and a new person, Avon. So I'm very excited to, um, to let you guys in on that. But in the meantime, let's figure out our base. So I have looked at the base and I thought, you know what we could do that would really be useful is make the base robot friendly. And I think that's probably a good thing to do uh, at the moment and just also get miscellaneous stuff like get a radar over here and just make the entire base um, robot friendly. Um, we do need to add robots uh, to our build queue. And I think we'll do that first. We have a blueprint for this. Um, let me just check our stuff. It's going to be, is it end game? No, it's not end game. It's would be mid game. There it is. I probably should relabel these uh, folders to have like numbers in front of them. So they'll sort properly. Like early game would be one, mid game would be two, and then end game would be three so that I could find them more easily uh, in the thing. So, but anyway, we have our batteries going. We need robot construction. So we'll grab this blueprint and plop it down very happily. What do we need over here? We need, oh, we can't read it. Okay, it's fine. It'll be fine. Uh, but anyway, we can put this round about over here maybe. Oh wait, that's the first assembler there. So maybe like there, I'm kind of aligning it with the, that yellow assembler up there. We could do one, two, three spaces. Gosh, I can't see. No, no, is it control? No, it's alt space. Nope, shift space, aha. Yes, and now it doesn't show me the blueprint. <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay. Um. The second one is aligned with the second one, but that doesn't help me at all. Let's be, you know what? I'm not going to care. I'm just going to plop it. Boom. There we go. And nanobots are getting everything in order. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So with this, we again are going to need, I really don't want to convert these to reds on my own. So we're going to grab some of the, um, the belts over here and stuff so that we can get this organized. Let's grab like 200 there. Wow, I have so many chests in my inventory. Why is this? I'm gonna put away these uh, steel chests. I really do not need them at all. Uh, okay, there we go. And let's get our, actually one, maybe one more stack of those and maybe one of these. I'll take a half a stack of those. And the undergroundies, there we go. I'll take 50. I guess I can just keep them on me. There's no real harm in that. Uh, anything else that we need in this little assembly here? Oh yes, the red and yellow inserters are going to be quite important. So we'll take these and red ones. Yay, okay, I can't believe we used all those up. But it's gonna be fine. I need to get some engines as well. Where do we have engines being made? Here they are. Okay, we would really like to have a couple of these guys. Wow. Okay, that's fine. Take those up. Do we need this? No, go away. Um, this one, balancers. No, go away, we don't need you. This also can go away. Filled up, or we just freed up, I should say, for inventory slots. Okay, cool. This is looking very good. I should have converted at least the lights though. That's um, something that's not fixed. So anyway, it'll be fine though. Right, so we, all we need to do is hook this up to lubricant and then the other things. I think we'll do these guys first. Let's just hook these guys up to the needed 
things and then we'll uh, snake the lubricant in between, I think. That should be just fine. We probably need to... Oh yes, look at this. This is not ideal. Okay, so we want all of this. This needs to run like, you know, perfectly. So we're going to say output priority to the right. Okay, there we go. And then that one's going there. Then we'll go there and there. Just make sure all the stuff is going to the right. I guess I should put another one here then too. Paste that one. And then here and here. Oopsies. Paste. No, no. Save. Paste. Paste. Okay, good. So then after this... Okay, they're taking this. That's going to be fine here. But after this one, we definitely need some help. Okay, so paste, 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 paste. Right, okay. And so now we should be getting plenty of these um, iron plates here. All right, this is going to be our happy, sneaky, thingy majingy here, which we can hopefully copy from there. Um, we might not, though. Let's just put that back. But we, we can actually copy this thing. Let's just do that. Which will align with this one. Just copy this whole thing. All right. And put this over the top of that. Okay. And this one, we need to just delete the relevant pieces there of this. So, okay, I think that should be right. Perfect. There we go. All right, and that's our red and green. Very nice. So now we have batteries and steel. Is that what we have up here as well? Yeah. Oh no, it's blues and batteries. That's fine though. Okay, so here we need to take off those Right there we go, like that. This one will go that way. And then we need to just go that way. Okay, uh, and this one needs to go like that. Or, yes, like this. Okay, perfect. And then we can go this way. Oopsies. There we are. Okay, just take it over nice and gently. Okay, and then this one is going to be here. So this one will go that way. There we are. Batteries. There we go. Cool. So all this is getting shuffled along here. And soon we shall have plenty of batteries. Once we, of course, hook up the lubricant, which I almost forgot. Now then, I do want to check and make sure that we can get this lubricant uh, traveling here. I think we'll do it on this side, like this. Take this with us. There we go. That's very handy. <laughs> All right. There we are. Now then. Uh, bring this one in. Ooh. Probably need to bring it in within three spaces because these are kind of difficult here. I think we'll do it there. And that'll be okay. I think I think that'll be just fine. Let's go ahead and put the, that one here. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, lube is in. And we have our engine makers working. Yay, this is good. Life is now extremely good. I'll go ahead and put some of these items back. 
we don't need. Batteries can go here. And the rest, I think, are going to be fine. But it's looking really good. We're going to get some bots very shortly. So while we're doing this, let's go ahead and put our radar down here for where we want it to be. We'll just put it here. It's very handy. And go ahead and start placing down some of the robo ports. Uh, I think we're going to take the pump thing off and instead put robo ports here because for a while we're going to need them. Um, all right, so. Put one there. Also, I would like to have one somewhere along here as well. Maybe up here. There we go. Nice. Okay. And keep on just basically plastering the base with these robo ports. Um, it's kind of important that we put them down uh, so that wherever we're walking, uh, which mostly we tend to walk on the bus, uh, we will also we will always be supplied by by the robo ports. So that's something that I always like to have is full coverage of the robo ports, and um, makes it just easier on us to walk around and still get uh, supplies. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there we are. anywhere else ah yes by the labs and all of these places well then we have huh, we have many places over here to cover these guys i think we can just put ooh, actually that's quite a good spot here um let's go ahead and put this this way put our robot port there all right we got nuclear fuel reprocessing I think we should go and deal with that first thing. Um, logistics three is tempting. Effect transmission is even better because now we can finally get beacons. We've all been waiting for beacons. I know we have. It's very exciting. Um, let's go ahead and deal with the nuclear fuel reprocessing first, though, uh, and see how many fuel cells we have lined up for, for this. Um, it, it really nuclear power really isn't a worry we still don't have the covarex process researched at all uh, we have quite a few stacks of the reprocess stuff but uh, all we got to do is do this and it's going okay and that's going to work for us and take um put these items on the belt and reprocess them into these um the u230 something I forget whether it's 235, I think. Yeah, 235. So, um, all right. So there's effect transmission. We can now make beacons. We have not, see, here's Covarex right here. We have not researched this yet. And um, we are in no danger of running out of nuclear stuff. So please never be panicked about that because it is actually quite silly. I know a lot of people never do this. And people say this on the forums all the time. And it's like, no, it's fine. You shouldn't worry so much. Just uh, take it easy and just make sure you mine enough uh, uranium. That's all you need to do. So let's see. We don't need any of that. I'm looking at, I'm like, whoa, lasers. Let's go. But in this playthrough, we don't have lasers. In our multiplayer playthrough, we will need them because there are biters. There are biters. Yep. Uh, but we're going to be okay. We might not die. We'll be fine. All right, we're going to put these speed modules in here. Wow, that's only plus 40%. Uh, we might have to do something about that percentage. But I think overall it's going to catch up eventually. But yes, we have... Look at our fields here. We have so much of these these nuclear... Um, I mean, the uranium here. It's a, it is a 16 million patch. But still, our lines are absolutely stood still. There's nothing that um our chests are full that's why this is stopped these um uh the, the circuit is connected here and the condition let's look at the condition 
Um, okay, so if we have less than 20k, well, do we actually have that? Hold on. There's eight. There's a lot. There's more. More, more, more. And these are going to continue because these are now coming from the recycling. Um, where is it? Is it checking if it's less than 20k? Where exactly? In the chests? Oh, that's right. It closes it or it opens it if there's less than 20k. So if we don't have enough buffer to feed the um, the Covarex plants, then it uh, it closes it. But we have tons already. Uh, so we're, we're just fine at the moment and we still have 56 in this chest here. So actually we could keep this going uh, now that I'm thinking about it, but I think we're going to get the Covarex process going and, um, and make a little, well, we, we actually should make more of those things and just back up the system entirely. Right, let's go get more inserter research. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, just take it off, take off the enable disable. And I think if I turn it back on, yeah, it'll, it has the same condition if I turn it back on. So once we, cause we do want this to keep processing, uh, to make extra, uh, of these, um, 235s. Okay. So the dark wood is 238. So the 235 is the, the hot green stuff. Um, yep. So we'll get that later. Anyway, let's check on our power. Uh, we could probably use some more power very shortly. So let me go and um, I think we'll finish preparing the base. In fact, let's just use our to-do list here. All right, robots, RoboPorts, we're still doing this. I guess we can take this one. Um, add new, we're gonna do, let's see, add nuclear power. Okay. Oh dear me. Oh dear, dear, dear me. Yes. And I actually was looking at my keyboard. <laughs> so, um, yes. Add nuclear power. Um, what else do we need to do? Probably everything we need to do all the things, but let's keep on going with the RoboPort thing. So we at least have tasks done. That's kind of important. A little bit, just slightly. Okay, that's oh that creates a gap though i don't like that gap at all let's just get from here to there and i think that will free us up some space good 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 yeah uh we don't need to be all the way to the ends of these just so we're at the main part i think so what i can do is something like this. There we are. And then something around the lab area. Something that maybe coincides with the whole thing there. Pardon my cat. She's extremely loud. Hello, my cat. What is it? Oh my goodness. That look she gave me. She's like, hello. Don't you know I am suffering for patting? I've been patted all day, but the suffering continues. And uh, yeah, there's much more suffering involved here. So we have to be very careful and make sure that we pat our cat more because she might need it. All right. Uh, right. We have, um, let's put that there. Get our power pull there. Get everything aligned. All right. And so we have a couple of blank spots. It's like we need a spot here, or we have a spot here that needs to be fulfilled. There we go. And then one in the middle of the bus, which is most necessary. Probably here, maybe? Wait, actually over here. Oh my gosh, over here. It's gotta be here. All right, um, one, two, three. Whoa, 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 whoa. I seem to have forgotten uh, how to do that. Okay. Okay, there we are. This will be better. There we are. Nice. And of course, power lines. Right. So now we've got this whole area organized. Now, keep note that this does not have to be a grid, nor is it desired to be a grid. Uh, in general, 
you want to have more robo ports than a grid has oh my god <gasps> we have robots happening oh my goodness they're carrying lights they're building oh <laughs> hello hi i didn't even authorize this but this is great oh oh look at them fly oh what a nice surprise <laughs> yes they're placing lights here <gasps> Oh, that's so good. Okay, so we have some construction robots. We've got Logibots. What are our conditions set for here? Let's see. These are the Logibots. If Y, what is Y? Y is total Logibots less than a thousand. Or if it's X is probably available. Yeah, okay. So we have this set to grow with the factory. We'll want at least a thousand. Um, but if there's less... Uh, then 20 if there's more than a thousand but less than 20 available then we're going to make more now uh, construction bots i have no idea what we're looking at here okay 1.5k that sounds reasonable for a decent construction project oh this is so exciting hello this is great yes okay i'm very excited about this i don't know if you could tell um but yes i'm having a nice time at the moment okay there's another uh robo port put down the mall is completely covered. I don't know if I should go all the way over here with this stuff. It doesn't seem terribly necessary to me. I could put this though here. And here we might even go for more of a grid thing because here is not where the majority of stuff is gonna get done. So this is not really that crucial as to spacing and whatever. We can just space them as far as they need to be apart. It's really not not that important here um i will go all the way up to the train station though because that's uh, kind of what we want to do okay there we go okay right there is good now then uh we do have these fuel things over here that are empty oh, we need more robo ports let me just dump some of the stone in here and that's all I can dump in there alas now let's go back to our roboport land and of course we need to make beacons I forgot to make beacons they go here um yeah I know where they go I know them all uh I know them all I know them all see how that works language is good um are they is this processing How's it going? Okay, it's fine. All right, good. But let's go ahead and continue this trend upward uh, slightly. Let's go up there and here. That's fine. Okay, good. And we can just get a ro um, power pole here. Jeez Louise. Come on. There we go. I need to get more power poles too. Okay. Insert a capacity bonus. I love insert a capacity bonus, as you can tell. Um, lab research speed. That might actually be quite useful. And we should also go for Covarex very shortly as well. The nice thing about research now is that, and they changed this uh, a few patches back, uh, is that things, if you start research something, you save your progress on research. So you don't have to worry ever about wasting research because it is always saved. All right, we needed, let's see, power poles, which are here. We have, do we have a beacon yet? One beacon. Wow, this is so slow. <laughs> this is really slow. Uh, I think I'll put some speed modules in here, just a couple. Uh, hello, Eleonora. Oh my god, that was the song of the gloves. The cat leaped up on the desk and tossed the gloves right on the desk. This, she's getting quite aggressive about these, um, uh, the gloves so funny my cat is so funny but anyway i was really excited to read about um the inclusion of upgrade planner i know it's been mentioned several fffs ago but uh oh wow that's too many um but the, the change is like oh my gosh there's really gonna be upgrade planner in the game and i'm really very excited about this i, I can't tell you how excited I am about the inclusion into vanilla of uh, Upgrade Planner. Uh, it makes me very, very happy. 
So let's get you guys. How about you don't want any of these? No, not really. Okay, no, you don't. Not. You know what? I didn't believe you. I did not believe you. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of a few things here. But these guys... Oh, they are storage chests. Excellent. So now we have some, some things that can get organized. We have a lot of junk in the chests, which uh, we can definitely organize better. I think we'll do science here. Like, for example, we'll have our requester chests, which apparently I don't have any. Let's go and get some of those. Do I have any? I just have one of these. So let's grab this. And we'll take a stack of these as well. We'll take a half a stack of these too. Uh, and I don't have any buffer chests. I probably should grab steel chests and just make some. I'll do that. I will make 50 buffer chests. Oh, apparently I can't. I'll make 21 buffer chests then. And then I'll put the rest of the steel chests back. Just stick them in here. And we will... I think that's enough. I think the rest of the stuff can go in the building train. Where is the building train? Did I leave it somewhere? Probably. But it'll be fine. We are mainly today working on the robot stuff. And then whatever else we need to do after that. So we have... Let's see. These guys still have these chests for distributing fuel here. So I did not connect them to proper chests. So we're just going to use what we've got there and put these guys down because we now have... Oh, there we go. Look at this. They're already being fed stuff. This is great. This is cool. I didn't even notice that happened. Maybe maybe I, it didn't happen. Maybe the I think the robots from the factory actually did that. Which is kind of cool. Very cool. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, these are not in the system yet. So, um, of course, they don't have uh, any minions serving them. Go ahead and put this up here. I'd rather not have it. Wow, does this not even fit there? Hmm. There's one. That one can go there. And we'll have this one along there. Think is okay good oopsies yeah i don't want to place the power pole on top of myself that could be a crushing experience it could be very unpleasant and from here we just want to connect stuff back to the base so that we have one network not two um we're gonna try to keep our base network fairly small not quite sure what the character of this is going to be because we have so much of our production spread out in all these different outposts. It's like, wow. Um, so our base is actually quite small here. Uh, we have the, the network, as you can see, is just in this area. And I think I'm quite happy with that. I think we can just, I mean, I could even change this. So this was its own area. Uh, in terms of just getting the fuel, putting it in a chest at one of these uh, fuel types, either the um, the coal or the solid fuel. But I think I also maybe want to include this stuff here because we didn't delete a lot of this stuff, mostly because um, we wanted robots to deal with it. So anyway, all right. Lab research speed five is done. Ah, uh, mining productivity doesn't take long. We could do the modules. I'm really, yeah, let's do modules. I'm quite tempted to do those because why not? It seems like a good idea. These, this whole thing uh, is actually temporary or was supposed to be temporary, um, but it seems to have kind of gone. Yeah. What we also can do is get, oh, wow. We still have bricks happening. These bricks are coming from here. Apparently we've been needing them for some odd reason. Okay. How is this stone patch down here doing? Is that viable at all? I don't even know where this is coming from. I've co totally forgot. Oh yes, this is this uh, this funky one. That's uh, that was the mixed patch. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Look at how many we have uh, removed from here, the edges. But yeah, these guys are going, and we have of course the the stone being prioritized there. Pretty neat. Okay, cool. 
Just always zoom out when you cross railroad tracks. That's uh, it's kind of like look both ways before crossing the street. But um, zoom out before crossing the railroad tracks. Very important. These guys uh, could probably stand to be made into... Well, we have two problems here. We have these guys are slow and we also have the belt is yellow, which is definitely not ideal. All right. That could be upgraded. Let's put that on our list. Okay, add new, upgrade, stone lines to red, and furnaces to steel. Okay, save. All right, good. All righty, how many beacons do we have? The thing with the beacons, though, is that we don't actually have the upgraded modules to put in there. Wow, we only have one? How can this have only made... Oh, you know why? Because they're being taken and placed somewhere. They might be over here. Yeah. Okay, so all of our beacons are being placed down over here. <laughs> right. Okay, that's fine. Um, what we can do with this, these guys are taking... 107 kilowatts of electricity. We could just put speed modules here. And that would be okay too. Um, but the question is, do we need speed modules? And it looks like we don't because these... Well, this, these guys are don't have purple science in them. So that's probably... We don't need to speed them up necessarily. Until we can make enough purple science. Because purple science looks like... It is, uh, should not be struggling. It looks like it's okay. It looks like, oh, we are running out of bricks though. Because this machine is not working as well. Okay. So I think we may need to just speed up the lines. That probably is what we, what we need there. Um, actually we can probably just upgrade plan this whole thing. The, um, this here is done. Okay, that's fine. And just speed up the line so that we can get all the bricks in here. Okay, productivity modules. Good. I want to get the... Let's get all the level 3 modules made so that we can make power armor if we should desire to do so. Okay, so now that's going to run a lot better, I think. Okay, good. We'll just get those modules uh, done and, uh, and be good. But... Uh, I think it is a good time to end the episode before we get into another project. But I think we have done the robots and roboports. We can cross that off of our list. Uh, but nuclear... Pa oh, dear. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. This one is here. Go back. Okay, there we go. Take is what I wanted. Yes, um, we're going to do the nuclear power in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.